What are some interesting DUI cases that were handled in Las Vegas, Nevada? Attorney Mace Yampolsky says, One of my clients was a methamphetamine user who was in an accident and he was out of the car. He assumed they could not tell he was driving because the officer did not see him drive, whereas there were actually two other witnesses there who did talk to the officer. But there still was a question regarding the identification of my client, so he avoided a DUI. I had a case in which a client approached a police officer with a wad of money to bail out her friend, who the police had pulled over. Unfortunately, it was not her friend. The cop suspected she was drunk. He told her to walk the line. She was a gymnast. She walked the line on her hands. The cop handcuffed her and threw her into the front seat of the police car. She kicked out his windshield. The police ended up beating her at jail. The DA was angry, but they could not prove a DUI. They never saw her drive. They only gave her one FST, even though she didn't follow instructions. She did walk the line. She paid for the cop's windshield and pled guilty to disorderly conduct. I thought it was a great result. Some people go to trial when they should not. I represented someone who was in the military. He was going to the PX in the morning, but unfortunately had some drinks the night before. Someone saw that he was walking unsteadily. He got into his car and started driving, but was pulled over. I was able to have a plea bargain on the table for a stay of adjudication, but the client absolutely would not take it. I told him he would be convicted if we moved forward, but he decided he wanted to go forward. It is the client's right to decide how they want to proceed in any type of criminal case. Everything else is the lawyer's responsibility. Many clients become upset at that because they feel that since it is their case, they should be able to direct how to proceed. I recently had a federal case that was a drug case instead of a DUI. The client wanted me to file certain motions to do certain things that I did not think were appropriate. He had a pretty storied criminal history, and based on that kind of criminal history, the federal court and the state would most likely sentence him to prison. Without a criminal record, he would be more likely to get probation, depending on the severity of the crime. For a free phone consultation, contact attorney Mace Yampolsky in Las Vegas, Nevada at 702-843-0939 or visit his website at www.macelaw.com.